Test. Now for the probe subtask. We've placed the electrodes in the following positions. Iron electrode will be at the fourth block on east. Gold electrode will be at the fourth block on west. Dirt electrode will be at the third block on north. And the redstone electrode will be at the third block on south. Now we're going to look at our settings for the probe. First, we have the frequency of 4 Hz with a 100k multiplier. It is the ideal frequency as it is high enough to allow movement of the current outside the cells. For the amplitude, we know that the impedance is voltage over current. The voltage that gives the highest current according to our test is 8 volts, and the relationship between impedance and current is indirectly proportional. Therefore, we came to a conclusion that 8 volts is the ideal as it gives the lowest impedance. Also, we are hoping that if every cell acts as a resistor and series in the direction of the current, there will be more voltage input per cell, which would give us a better signal. Now we look at the gain settings for the bioreactor. For channel 1 R3, it is set as 150k. For channel 2 R3, it is set as 1.5k. For channel 1 R2, it is set as 150 ohms. For channel 2 R2, it is set as 150 ohms as well. The reason for our choice is that this setting gives us a reading with the least noise when tested. It doesn't amplify the voltage too much, giving very high VPP levels that change in a very small number. Now we're gonna ask the technician to fill with yeast to get the reading we want. Then push the button to get the reading. We need three readings and average it for the most accurate result. 